Hi students and welcome to today's session. Today we will be discussing on the topic selection. I am giving the details on pure line selection particularly here but before that before coming to that topic we must know what is a selection and then we will move on to different types of selection. So selection is uh, nothing but we select or choose the best varieties from the available lot of collections retaining their superior phenotypes and eliminating the inferior ones upon successive generation. So it is nothing but the selection of the better varieties from the available ones during the process of culture or agricultural process. It can be either natural selection or it can be artificial. So selection can be of two types. If it is done by the nature then it is called natural selection and it, if, if it is done by man itself then it is called artificial selection. It is actually an old method of plant improvement and uh, it was the chief breeding method until some time before. But now more advanced breeding procedures are being used today at the at this scenario so but we have to study this method also so selection can be of different types here in today's session we'll see what is pure line selection three major types of selections are there first one is pure line selection and we'll be going into the details today Pure line selection, it may be also called as single plant selection or individual plant selection. Other names are single plant selection or individual plant selection. It is the identification and isolation of a single best plant from among a progeny for the development of a new variety. So we will be selecting only a single best plant from the lot of plants we have generated. This concept was actually uh, been into effect during the 19th century in Sweden and however the genetic basis of pure line was explained by Johansson. And the individual plant selection or the pure line selection implies separate sawing of individual seeds from selected plants or selected ears or selected panicles and so on. And then followed by the examination of the offspring next year. Therefore, this method is more aptly termed individual selection with progeny evaluation. So that is about the pure line selection. Here the pure line is the progeny of a single self-fertilized homozygous plant. And coming on to the steps or the procedure. During the first year what we do is the individual plants are selected from a heterogeneous population and the number of plants thus selected may vary from 200 to 1000 in various crops. During the second year, the progeny of each selected plant is grown separately in a few rows and evaluated for the character under consideration. And in this year, in this step, the top 15 to 20 progenies are selected. During the first year, from the bulk of available seeds or plants, we select 200 to 1000 plants. But during the second year, from this 200 to 1000 plan, we select 20 uh, up to 20 progenies. And during the third year, the different strains are evaluated in replicated field trials and top performing ones are selected for further evaluation. During the fourth year, what happens is from fourth to seventh year, the, we follow the same procedure that is from 4th to 7th year, the selected strains are evaluated in the field trials for up to 2 to 3 years and 
the better ones are or the best genotype is identified on the basis of yield performance so that that is what happens from fourth to seventh year and eighth to tenth year the best performing strain is released and notified as a variety and up to tenth year more number of seeds are being produced which we need for the distribution so that is about the procedure what we do and uh, coming to the applications one we have generated several varieties using this technique and one example is wheat variety NP4 and NP52 uh, and it is practiced in introduced materials also to develop suitable varieties and examples are shining mung one selected from the kulu type one it also provides opportunity for selection of new characteristics such as disease resistance plant type etc and also provide opportunity for selection in the segregating generation from crosses so these are the applications and merits what are merits we have it is a good method of isolating the best genotype for high yield also for disease resistance etc the variety developed by this method is uniform and more attractive than the mass selected variety also it is cheap and easy so we can follow this method easily next what are the demerits main demerits are the genotype cannot be developed by this method because it involves only the isolation of superior genotype from a mixed population also it is applicable only to self pollinated crops but while it is not applicable in case of cross plant sorry cross pollinated species the varieties developed by pure line selection have poor adaptability and narrow genetic base it is having poor adaptability and narrow genetic base hence they are more prone to attack of new diseases so that is all with pure line selection thank you